What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Microsoft Surface Duo. If you watch my channel, you know that I've uh, returned this back to Microsoft. It was too buggy for me and I just fell in love too much with the Galaxy Z Fold. And uh, I, one of the things I, I wanted is I knew it they could be fixed, but it needed an update. That update looks like it has rolled out at this point. And uh, one of my buddies even has gotten the update and he had some thoughts already on it. Jimmy is promo. He put on a tweet talking about the update. And it's not even that large of an update, surprisingly. It's only 113 megs. Uh, he says it feels much, much smoother, more responsive, better at flipping screens. Keyboard is better, no lags yet. Switching screens is faster, closing apps is faster. He says, good job, Surface. And this is a great thing to have. If I had this phone style, I definitely would have done the update by now and given you my thoughts on it. but. For me, I still, even with that improved update, I still feel like the Z Fold 2 is just a much better phone in almost every regard. We talked about it yesterday, the update for the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra for Android 11 One UI 3.0 beta. The public beta was out in South Korea, and right now it's out in America too. What you need to do is you need to go into your Samsung Members app on your phone. Once you go to the Samsung Members app, you should see a little headline that says One UI Beta Program. Click on that, go through the steps, enroll, and you should be able to get that update for your phone to get the latest and greatest version of uh, the One UI and Android 11 software on your phone. At that point, uh, just know if you do sign up for it, your phone might be buggy. But overall, I've heard some very good things about it being faster, a little bit more updated. So check it out if you're interested in it and you're not too worried about being beta software, it's available right now, at least in America. Galaxy S21, we've been talking about it a little bit. We've got some more uh, early, early rumors. This isn't definitive, this is just rumors. But let's talk about it. This tweet comes from not DJ Co. It says Gal Galaxy S21 will have a plastic back. And we've heard it's gonna have that kind of plastic back. 120 hertz display at $899 to start off the price. And then the S21 Ultra, 120 hertz display as well with a bright HM2 sensor on there. Again, not really anything crazy on here, uh, but just good to see some preliminary specs coming out for these phones already. Next up, remember Max Weinbach had some issues with his Galaxy Z Fold 2 where it was cracked and Samsung was taking forever to get it uh, fixed and it looks like it was gonna take a really, really long time. Well, he put out this tweet saying, just got a call from Samsung HQ, New Jersey. They're repairing my phone for free and overnighting it back to me once fixed. The part comes in tomorrow or Friday. That is how it should have been in the first place other than them, other than the free repair, I'm fine paying. So that's great to hear. And I totally, totally agree with them. When you have these insurance policies, it should be bam, 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 bam. You shouldn't have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks. Give them either a new phone, either a refurbished phone. And if you don't have a refurbished phone, again, give them a new phone or get that damn thing fixed. The customer's I, always right. That's the way it should be. That's the way it always has. That's what makes great customer service. So I'm glad that Samsung is at least taking this initiative, probably because he's a, a bigger name in the tech industry, especially on Twitter. Good job, Samsung. I don't know what else to say beyond that. Last story of the day is pretty big and pretty exciting. And it has to do with the hinge on the Galaxy Fold. This looks like it come to, should come to the Galaxy Fold 3. And it's a feature, before I jump into it, that's going to potentially change the way you get information and know about information on your phone. Other than having this front display, could be for notifications. Who knows what else, just to make the phone look cool. Check this out. This information comes from Let's Go Digital. It says Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 might feature a light indicator on the hideaway hinge. And what that means is that that hinge on the phone would light up different colors to let you know information. Maybe you're getting a phone call, maybe you can customize it just to go off. Who knows, but that is very, very cool that it would potentially give you notifications, give you information about the phone, make the phone look different all along this hinge right here, or at least a part of the hinge 
overall. That is a very, very cool feature and it's a feature that will add on to its premium flagship capabilities from what we're hearing for the Galaxy Z Fold and Fold lines and flip lines for Samsung in the coming future iterations. Let me know what you think about that to be able to get information on that hinge. Tell me what you think. I think it's really, really cool and I'd be definitely down for it. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.